you ain't got no job, you ain't got school, and you ain't got to do. You need to start a YouTube channel. So, you want to start a YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna share with you why you should and give you some of my personal tips and tricks to help you out along the way. So I know what you're thinking. Girl, it's a pandemic. Girl, it's Corona time. And I'm here to tell you, girl, it's coin time too. I'm here to tell y'all that even in Corona, even in a pandemic, YouTube can help you make big coin. And if y'all see me looking over here, if y'all see me looking over here, it's because I have my book. We'll talk about this book in a few. But if y'all see me looking to the side, it's because I have my book over here with a couple of notes on it just to keep me on track. So, reason number one why you should start a YouTube channel is because B-Y-O-B. And I know what you're thinking. B-Y-O-B? Bring your own bottles. Bottles? B-Y-O-B is be your own boss, which is exactly what you get to become when you start a YouTube channel. You get to become your own boss. YouTube is nothing but a huge business platform for individuals anywhere from the age of what? three or four to basically like 70 or when they can't even talk anymore. YouTube has so much great content all over the place, so it's easy for you to find those group of people that will support you and become a part of your business and your brand. And ultimately, when you are your own boss, you're gonna bring in those big bucks. Uh, I mean, I'm not making any big bucks right now from YouTube, but with y'all's help, I could be. So help a sister out, okay? Also, when you be your own boss and you make a YouTube channel, you get to leave your own mark on the world and the internet and all of those things. And I mean, isn't that nice? You know, you get to look up your YouTube video a couple years from now with your kids and be like, yeah, that's your mom's. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> Reason number two why you should start a YouTube video, it's a new hobby. So yeah, I know what you're thinking, like why do I need a new hobby? I'm just gonna drop it in two months anyway. No, when you have a YouTube channel, that thing is an investment. It's like a child, but it's a great hobby. I know one big hobby that became like so huge lately over quarantine was roller skating. TikTok made roller skating famous, like and I would know because I ordered a pair of roller skates and those things was on back order until October. But I'm here to help you make YouTubing your new hobby that you do. So let's get to it. Reason number three why you should make a YouTube channel is that it has a lot of opportunity for personal growth. YouTube is like your own personal outlet. If you're shy, I'm pretty sure you'll find yourself coming out more of your shell when you're on camera. At first, it might be really awkward. Like I can't even lie, I feel very awkward when I'm sitting in my room talking to a camera, acting like I'm having a conversation, being all weird and crazy. Like. How I am weird and crazy but that's besides the point you know like if you're already an extrovert being on camera will be no problem to you it'll come like second nature but if you're a person that's an introvert or shy by nature being on camera will bring you really out of your shell and it'll help you in your YouTube and your personal life for sure YouTube is simply a place for you to just be you and it's so important that you are you on your YouTube channel you want to create something that is you that is where you go to relieve stress or to do something if you have a great idea that you want to talk about or an experience you want to talk about you can come to your YouTube channel and make it a video make it money make it some coins. Number four is equipment does not matter. Equipment doesn't matter. Right now, child, I'm recording on my iPhone XR sitting in like one of them little steel chairs that you have at the cookout, the little fold out ones at my desk and I'm recording on my phone. Yeah, I just bought the ring light and I just bought a microphone, but those were investments that came a long time. Like if you look on my channel, I started making YouTube videos in front of a like beat up um, vanity mirror and I had to tape my phone to the mirror and it would just fall off when the lighting was all bad. And if you're worried about editing, I edit on free Apple iMovie. I work with a couple of certain little free apps. You know, I might like buy one or two things here or there, but the apps are normally pretty cheap. Like everything, everything, I do it for free. 
free 99 out here ceo of free 99 all of that is said just to tell you that it doesn't matter start right now if you want to make a youtube video start that thing now start it now because let me tell you if you're creating relevant and good quality creative content that's all about you or you know that's your style people are going to be drawn to that they're going to like to watch you act like a fool or your southern crazy accent like me you're going to want to watch those things it's not going to matter about the quality and the more people support you and watch your videos and watch your stuff then the more money you get in and the more you can buy the good stuff you get what i'm saying here it's like one step to the next step to the next step and then boom you just skyrocketing you just blowing up one day i'm gonna blow up and i'm gonna play this video over again and i'm gonna time step it like on this day i said i was gonna blow up and look at me now <laughs> now i've given you the reasons why you should make a youtube channel now i'm gonna give you those tips to help you out along the way if you get a little stuck and you don't know where to start tip number one write out your video ideas I can't tell you how important this tip number one is to write out video ideas. I know earlier I told y'all that I was having, I had a little book right here and that's because I wrote out this video. Like imagine blowing up, you know, you post a video and that video start doing numbers. I mean numbers girl. But then you sitting there like, dang, what next? And your subscribers gonna say, girl, what's next? they gonna subscribe to you yes because that one video was enough to bring them in but if you don't have consistent things to keep them coming back nobody's gonna want to really subscribe to you because they're gonna feel like your content is very inconsistent next is do your research so after you figured out you know i want to make a video on how to put on a pair of socks right whatever now go on youtube and look up how to put in a pair of socks do your research see what's out there don't don't steal other people's content, but just see what's out there and make it your own. Make it into who you are and your niche. Make it fit you, but see what's missing in the market. And that way you can plug it in, plug yourself on in, scooty scoot scoot. And now you don't put yourself on the market as well because people are gonna come to your channel and find things that were very helpful to them that they might not have found on somebody else's channel. Three, set a schedule. Super important, super important, period, period, okay? Set a schedule. So like I said, that whole being consistent, like posting, having ideas and things that are ready to go, this is a part of setting your schedule. Normally for YouTube and the algorithm and things, most people say to post two times a week. So myself, I post every Monday and Friday. Just your own personal preference. Number four is make quality and relevant videos that also fit your niche. So what's a niche? What's a niche? A fancy word for a category. So what is your niche? So for me, mine is politics, lifestyle, and language and culture. Those are the three things that I am passionate about and that will be on my channel. All of those things will be on my channel. Some people have tech niches. Some people do beauty niches. Some people do lifestyle and travel niches. It just depends. Find what fits you and what you want to do on your channel and make the best quality content that you can for that category. Number five is always continue learning those new skills. So one thing about YouTube is that you never stop learning. You never stop figuring out new things that you can use on your videos to make your content better. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing about that. So always keep learning new skills. Ultimately, learning those new editing skills, learning more about your category, making more quality videos will bring the larger audience and ultimately make you a successful YouTuber. Last but not least is be yourself. I cannot stress this one enough for you. So make sure your videos fit who you are. I definitely struggled with that. I definitely struggled with finding my, my YouTube voice. YouTube voice is a real thing. It's it's kind of hard like because once you get on camera if you have like your professional voice you want to use your professional voice when you be on camera you would think that uh -uh. no people don't want to hear your professional voice they want to hear what you sound like on a daily they want to know who you are as a person the more personal it feels the longer they gonna watch the video the more watch time you're gonna get the more the algorithm is gonna like you and then you blowing up, up, up. So that's gonna be all for our video today. I've shared with you exactly why you need to start a YouTube video right now in a pandemic, 
run out. It doesn't matter. You ain't going outside today. You're going to be in the house and you can make a YouTube video. Set your phone up, get in front of the window, and make it happen, okay? Chop, chop. Comment down below any of your channels or if you're thinking about making a YouTube video right now in July 2020 or just comment down below what you love to see on our channel next time or our channel, my channel next time. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn those bell notifications on so you see when I post every Monday and Friday. As always, be safe, be blessed. Thanks for watching. Bye.